Do you know what? We've got a real superstar on the guide, Liverpool. She's coming to Liverpool. She's playing Liverpool later on this year, which we'll talk about soon. There's a brand new single coming out as well. Uh, it's the lovely Heather Small. It's 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 been funny, hasn't it? Because there's been so much kind of, of press attention on, on hospitality, on tourism. We, we've seen a little bit in terms of, of culture and the arts and theatres. and But the music industry for me is something that, that's really suffered. Um, and certainly for artists and the teams that work with musicians on stage just just tell us it in your words what's it been like as a musician who was touring who was who was still performing what's it been like the past 12 months it's been harsh it's been harsh it's been difficult and it's been it's been devastating really as a singer as a performer i know what goes into an event and it's not just me up front there's the sound you know there's the lights the other musicians the venues that put you on and um you know the bars that are in the venues the food everything is impacted everybody's at home not knowing when they're going to come out of and when we might come out of the pandemic um, but when are we going to be able to socialize in that kind of situation it's it's been very difficult because it just not only impacts your livelihood Creatives are a, a special breed, and you know we're always hanging on to our <laughs> mental well-being. It's not a joke, and so when something as intrinsic as my singing is taken away from me through no fault of my own, like anybody who does anything that they love, whether it's artistic or otherwise, it's very difficult to come to terms with. Well, listen, one thing that, that you have done is is you've teamed up with Rio Ferdinand. Uh, tell us about the foundation first off and your link and why you wanted to work uh, with this charity. I have a friend and he's also a musician. So, you know, it's like I said, you know, we're all finding things to do. And he said to me, he he's known um, of the Rio Foundation for a few years because it's been going for 10 years. And that he thought that I would be a good fit, that they were looking for um, strong female role models. <laughs> Which you are, you are. Hello. They wanted to say that it was about young people, about them moving forward in any way that they could move forward that was positive. So that would be through, of course, sport, but also through the arts. So music, filmmaking, everything um, included in, in, in that genre. So you released, you released the single as well, United Together, really empowering, right. motivational singer, which you've become famous for over the years. <laughs> Tell us about this, because it's not actually out available as yet, is it? You can pre-order it. Mm it's, yes, it's, it's out March the 12th. Um, it's, it's, it's kind of like a chanty, dancey, you know, something that everybody can, can latch onto. And I, I, I liked, I, it's very simple. I liked the words and I wanted to get the message across. We need to uh, be able to mentally and financially support these young people and their endeavours. And we, we should be getting a video together, what we made by a group of young people. So, you know, we're going to get them getting their creative juices flowing as well. So for me, it's just a holistic, well-balanced foundation. Uh, because you play in Liverpool um, in a few weeks. We haven't got the specific date because obviously Boris is still waiting to, uh, to give us the final detail. This will be one of your first times back on stage. Yes, it, it's penciled in for the 28th of April. And, and whatever happens with the laws around the, um, lockdown it will it could that could change but it will be one of the first gigs and it is it's my it will be the first gig with my band in at an absolute age so and liverpool i have links with liverpool i have friends in liverpool you know and it, it's an apt place because there is that diversity in liverpool and they have tried to confront some of the issues you know we have the i've, I've been to the um the memorial, the, the museum there for, for um, talking about slavery. And it's done really, really well, really very well. Um, I also love the um, vegan cafe that is eggs. Yeah, so I know bits and pieces, uh, you know, <laughs> of the city. And I know that they will appreciate a live show immensely. So I'm hoping that it does go ahead and everybody comes out to support. What can we expect at the Nosley Social, Heather? So the Nosley Social happening, uh, penciled in round April time. It's going to be a great, great event for Liverpool. It's going to be on the Nosley Estate. What will Heather Small bring to Liverpool when she steps on stage? Ah, nah, I'm going to bring myself. I'm going to bring my joyous self. I'm going to be so happy to get on the stage. It's, it's, it's just fun, just fun. And the love of what I do, some great musicians. We just, we have the best time ever. 
you know, and that's what we want to translate to the audience. It's a it's a, a feeling of joy, it's a feeling of love, it's a feeling of hope, it's a feeling of light. So I've picked it up so immensely now that um, I better deliver. <laughs> you better add, you will do. Uh, we've got to talk- I said, it's what I do. It's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> we've got to talk about them people briefly and, and your, your incredible career. 11 million singles sold worldwide with them people alone. You had your solo album, uh, early 2000s. We all know the single Proud. Do you ever get fed up or bored of, of playing those anthems because they're so big and so known? Do you ever think, oh, God, not moving on up again? Do you know what I mean? Does- yeah. Absolutely never, because I only record songs that I like. (laughs) And it's been my dream to have signature songs. So I'm not, you know, it's like Shirley Bassey gets on stage. You want to hear a hey, big spender, diamonds are forever, you know. Well, listen, we can't wait to see you live in Liverpool, the Nosley Social. Check out the new single as well. It's called United Together. 10% of that goes to the Rio Foundation. Heather Small, I can't wait to see that big big giant beautiful smile of yours live on stage in liverpool again thank you so much for chatting to us it's been a pleasure jay